11 Alive News at 5 p.m. starts now. Georgia, you're back-to-back -back national champions. You got one chance to be legendary, and I'm not, I'm not gonna leave any regret out there. I mean, if you can't pull, pull out your best in a game like this, or at least your best effort and best uh, you know, preparation, then you know, maybe this isn't for you. The number one team in the nation who couldn't hear they wouldn't make it. We was just playing for more than ourselves. We was playing for the G. Now, all eyes are on next season. Hey, we're gonna have to reinvent ourselves uh, uh, next year because you can't just stay the same. This is not the last, but you know we'll see in the future. All right, here we go. Your back-to-back -back college football national champions are on their way back to Georgia right now. So the dogs taking to the field with commanding force defeating TCU, 65 to seven. Sixty. Oof. I know. Did y'all did <laughs> see that game? Y'all saw that score, right? Quarterback Stetson Bennett winning the offensive MVP title again in his final game as a Georgia Bulldog. And today, the city of Atlanta showing out for these champs. The 11 Alive Sky Tracker capturing this congrats dog sign over Georgia's own credit union in downtown Atlanta. And near Truist Park, the Atlanta Braves also congratulating the back-to-back -back champs. We can't say that enough. Back-to-back. -back. Back so we have back. live team coverage for you tonight. <laughs> Folks, Jeff Hollinger is going to be in the studio talking about the chances of a three-peat already. Brittany Klein-Peter has all the championship parade details. And Joe Ripley is in Athens with fans awaiting the team's arrival. We're going to kick things off with Latasha Gibbons live at Hartsfield Jackson International. So, Latasha, you've seen some of the action out there within the last 15 minutes. What can you tell us? That's right, Ron. As we were coming live on air, we've been waiting for the team's plane to arrive and their family members and the administrative staff. But to our surprise, Governor Kemp landed just a few minutes ago and came to speak with us. We're going to get to those sound bites in just a minute. But he just talked about how proud he was of the team and how uh, such a great season they've had, not just this year and last year. And throughout the day, we've been at the airport. It wasn't as crowded as it has been, but no matter what flight people were coming from, whether it was LA or other places, People were dressed in their UGA gear, their memorabilia, and everyone was just filled with the spirit of being a winner. Here's some of those sound bites. Winning. It was electric. It was great to be there. Weather wasn't as good as it normally would have been, but everything's put aside with a big win like we had. Okay. We walked in, there was a lot of purple, honestly, a little nervous, but as soon as the game started, it was like, we got this, and honestly got to sit back and relax towards the end. I mean, this was, you know, one for, for Vince Dooley, and, and uh, Kirby's got his second, Stetson got his, his second, right off into the sunset on his, uh, on his chariot now, and uh, I think it cements, hopefully cements us at the top of the sport. I tell you, the, the two playoff games, both Georgia, Ohio State, TCU, and Michigan were just incredible games. And, you know, the game, I think, just got away from TCU last night. You could tell Georgia had been there before, and uh, they just could never recover. But, man, what a game by the guys. It was unreal. And so far, we've had two planes arrive, some with family members of team players and administrative staff. We have Governor Kemp arrive. And at about 537, we are expecting the team to land on that Vince Dooley plane. We'll bring you those moments live as they happen. Ron and Faith, back to you. All right, we are looking forward to it. Thank you so much, Latasha. 